Hey there, welcome to this episode of Beauty to Bank. My name is Susan Bennett and I am the CEO of The Social Barber and I help established beauty professionals learn how to package up their expertise into digital products so you can avoid burnout behind the chair. We are creating passive streams of income, okay? It's no more, hey, I make $100 an hour and you're maxed out, okay? Um, we are creating generational wealth. We are working with systems. We are freeing up our time. We are creating freedom based, not just businesses, but lifestyles, okay? When you talk about creating digital products, it's more than just making money. It's not another job. It's a lifestyle, okay? And part, a big part for me of that lifestyle is freedom, all right? And a big part of freedom and the way that we get to freedom is with automation. So come on in, go ahead and share this with your business besties. If you want to make a comment, um, I can see your comments live and interact with you. Um, let me know where you're joining from. Um, please go ahead and share this. We're going to be getting into great detail and I want this to be super interactive. Okay. What we're going to be doing today is um, we're going to be walking through the normal flow of how you get to a point of, you know, starting to sell your, your digital products more on autopilot, what the flow looks like. We're going to talk about a couple variations. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk about which pieces can be automated and which pieces can't. Okay. And just what some of the different options are. Okay. So if you have any questions about any of this, you are in the right place. And we're going to get right down into it. We're not playing around today. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, share my screen. You know, when she shares her screen, you know, we gonna, we're going to get down to business over here. Okay. So I'm going to share over here, y'all. I got all these screens going on. I need y'all to see what I'm doing. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to be talking about here what you can automate. All right. So with that being said, this is Beauty to Bank. And this is the number one place on the web where beauty professionals learn how to make money without standing behind the chair. Okay. So let's talk about this. Okay. I, and I want to I wanna ask you guys why you need automation, right? So for me, I sat here and I said, I want to make this interactive. You see, I got this blank dot right here. And I did this because at the end of the day, everything I do, it's like this bullet, okay? This bullet right here, freedom. Now, if you guys have anything else to add, I, like I said, I want this to be interactive. But when it comes to me, I'm like, my thing is all about, my thing's all about freedom, okay? And when I say freedom, what I mean is that having free time, having a way that I'm able to do other things, right? And and sometimes, to be honest, one of the, you know, we talk about having freedom to do other things. What about the freedom to do nothing? Okay. What about the freedom to watch Netflix? Okay. It's the freedom to choose whatever you want to do. You know, I think sometimes people say, okay, freedom, I get to choose how I want to work. What if you don't want to work? right? What if some days you don't want to do some stuff? You're like, hey, I'm kind of not feeling it today. <laughs> okay? All right. We can't do this every day, but some days you're like, you know what? I just want to chill. Like, I don't, I don't feel like being burned out. I don't want people trading one burnout thing for another burnout thing. So for me, it's all about freedom. Okay. Now, if you guys think about other reasons for automation, um, let me know in the chat. I, uh, I do see Lee, uh, Lisa, I do see uh, Liza in here. Um, you know what I'm saying? I know there's some other people. I can't see everybody's names if you did not authenticate with StreamYard here. But guys, for me, I'm like, I was like, y'all, I don't have another bullet point for that. But if you guys think of some other reasons that you guys want to automate, let me know. For me, everything that I want to do, I want to, I want freedom. And I also, I plan for a lot of people. Every single thing that I do, I do something in such a way that if one person joins my live class, my live mastermind, my live broadcast, or if a thousand people or 10,000 people, my system is set up in such a way that it does not matter, right? So at that point, all I have to do is drive traffic, okay? Everything I teach, Everything I do is done in that way, okay? So y'all y'all gonna leave my bullet hanging like that? Because I was gonna leave the bullet hanging. I didn't have another one to add after freedom, okay? So we want freedom. If you set everything up in the proper way, guess what? You don't need 
you know what I'm saying? You don't need to change anything. You have, you don't have to go back. It doesn't cost you, um, cause you a whole bunch of different customer service issues and things like that. So for me, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this other one away. I don't see that you guys have anything else on that one. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it at the freedom piece. Okay. We need automation because we want freedom. All right. We don't want to trade one job for another job. That is not the goal. Okay. That's not my goal. I don't know if that's your goal. That's not my goal. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the normal flow of an online business. Like how do we get to the point of, you know, having an idea, um, promoting it, and then actually getting people to pay for it. All right. So let's go through kind of, this is kind of in order, kind of how it runs. This is a very rough high level order for how you go from, you know, creating your digital products and promoting them to actually getting sales. Okay. And even what happens after you get a sale, some of the things that happen. Okay. All right. So let's, let's talk about this a little bit. Okay. So basically how an online business runs is you have to build an audience really. Okay. I, I call it social media because that's a big way that people do it. But really the reason we're doing social media is we want to connect with other people that are interested in the things that we have. Right. We have to connect with them. Oh, guys, listen, it's all about community. And, and let me just stress this because I think what happens a lot of times with, with people, they get hesitant to sell because they're thinking about selling. Okay. I want you to understand that selling is serving. Okay. You have something that's going to help your audience. You have something that can help somebody do something quicker, faster, better, cheaper, right? You have expertise in something. All right. But people don't know if they don't know about you. Okay. So you have to make sure that they know about you. Okay. So these are the ways that people can know about you. Social media is one of the most, um, you know, it's one of the most popular ways. Um, what I've covered on here are a lot of organic things. Um, these things can be promoted. You can do paid posts as well. Okay. Um, you know, paid promotions like, you know, ads and things like that. Okay. So, um, that is definitely paid ads is another thing that can be, you know, is part of, you know, social media as well. Okay. People don't talk about that as much because everybody just wants to go viral for free, but you know, you can pay for those types of things as well. Okay. That's definitely a part of it. Okay. We have got to, got to, got to build an audience. Okay. Guys, listen, if you don't have an audience, it doesn't matter how good your thing is. It doesn't matter. You're not going to make the money that you want to make. That's just what it is. Okay. So a one has got to be right. Liza said, that's the hard part. Got to be visible. Yes. Okay. It doesn't have to be that hard. It doesn't have to be, you got to have a formula. Okay. But these are some of the things So you're going to do. So the way that you're going to promote your business through social media, that's the most popular way, really you're going to do posts, right? So just pictures, videos, you're going to do live broadcasts. I'm on a live broadcast right now. I'm on YouTube, right? But I do a lot of um, live broadcasts on Instagram, Clubhouse, different places, right? You're going to do um, um, reels, short form, vi form video. Guys, I know that that one was a little bit intimidating, the reels, because it felt like, oh my gosh, like do I have to dance, right? TikTok and reels. And now they have YouTube shorts. Facebook has their own reels as well, um, you know? And so that is really blowing up. And you have to be very agile when it comes to social media, especially when you're doing organic social media. You have to be able to kind of jump on stuff. And you want to you want to do it sooner than later. Okay. So reels are really important. You've got longer form video, and that might be like how to or some other content that people do on YouTube. Maybe it's, you know, I'm kind of separating that from going live like we are now. Um, you've also got DMs. Guys, DMs have been a huge piece that, you know, Instagram especially has been um, promoting. They've been giving more features around DMs. Um, you've got paid ads, all right? So once people know about you, when you go live, the, the real deal, guys, when you go live is that people, you want to promote your freebie. Y'all, did you guys know that is the deal? Like a lot of times what happens is that people are just kind of going live kind of to go live. Like they're kind of like, well, I don't really know what I'm doing. I didn't know what I was doing when I first started. I was just kind of like, oh, well, let me just promote my book. So I'm going to go live. Okay. Okay. So this is the thing. You got to have a way to get people out of the live broadcast, right? Because remember when you're on a live broadcast, okay. Hey, Carol, 
when you're on a live broadcast on social media, guess what? I don't own this audience. YouTube owns this audience. So if something happens to my YouTube channel, you guys don't know how to get a hold of me. So if I share my freebie, then now I have brought you over to my platform. You can be on my email list. Okay. So I'll show you, um, you know, I'm going to drop this in here. Y'all want to see an example of a freebie. I've dropped mine in here. It's, I have a free and I dropped the link right in here. It's a, a free guide. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, just to kind of get your, your mind going. Okay. So this is a free guide about 25 ways that um, you can monetize your knowledge of the beauty industry, right? So if you're kind of like, okay, I don't even know where to start with these digital products, listen, okay? So that's kind of how that guide works, okay? And I'll actually kind of show you what it looks like. So basically, um, you know, people can sign up for it for free and they'll actually go ahead and they will, um, they'll actually get it for free. And this is what it actually looks like, okay? So that's, this is the game, y'all. This is the game. Okay. And I know you guys are here because y'all want the game, but so this is kind of, uh, this is a copy of the guide. If you guys want your own copy, and this is like humongous. We're at 175. Let's make it go down a little bit. Okay. So it's just a little guide here and it kind of gives people ideas about what digital products are, how they get started, all that. If you guys want it, you guys can click there and download it. But that's when, when you go live and when you're getting the traffic, the big thing here is that you want to make sure that you have some place for people to go, okay? So this is just an example. This is mine, right? This is my freebie, okay? And so that's kind of how that works, okay? So once people get over to your list, what you're gonna wanna do with them is you're gonna wanna send them information, engagement. You might wanna let them know about some paid offers that you have. You might have other freebies. And you might even want to get them into an email sequence, right? So somebody who signs up for my, my ways to monetize, they're probably interested in starting to sell digital products. So I can get them into, you know, a, an email sequence. So an email sequence is just a set number of emails that go out and they're about that particular topic, whatever the, e the freebie was about, right? And so let's say I sign up on Monday, I'm going to get the first email, right? Let's say Carol signs up on Tuesday, she's going to get the first email and I'm going to get the second email on Tuesday, okay? So an email sequence, it's a set number of emails in the same order. No matter when you sign up, everybody gets that same number of emails in that same sequence, okay? And so that's super important. It's a way, you know, this is a way that people are kind of scaling up their business because you can't talk to every single person and you want to have thousands of people, as many people knowing about you as possible. So that's why people use the email sequences. Okay. Now, text marketing is something that's been very popular. I don't know how many of you guys on here are here because you got a text for me. Go ahead and drop a one in the comments. Okay. So text marketing, it's optional. Um, email marketing is still the cheapest method of marketing. Um, so you definitely do not sneeze on that at all. When you're doing anything online, the more email addresses you have, it's in direct correlation to how much money that you're making. Okay. So email is, is really important, but text marketing is a great way to get in front of people very quickly. Okay. Now you can bring people to a webinar, right? So, you know, um, you know, your webinar can be, um, you know, live, you can have it pre-recorded, and this is a way that you're also getting people to, you know, know about what you have for sale, okay? Next, you're going to give them the paid offer. What, did, what are the reasons that they're going to give you money, right? Why would they give you money? And that's where the paid offer comes in, okay? So this is just a few examples. Um, let me know if you guys have some others, right? So you can do a live workshop. I did a live workshop last night with Angela C. Styles. It was amazing with reels, okay? She broke it all the way down and even created a reel live with us. I mean, she broke down. I was like, oh, wow, like that's amazing, okay? So much good stuff. So you can do like live classes or workshops. And these are online, remember, via Zoom or whatever platform that you're using, okay? You can do um, a replay. So let's say you're like, hey, I don't feel like doing a live class. I got some other recordings that I've got here. I've got an ebook. I've got templates. I can bundle things up and I have to create an offer. Okay. You have to create an offer. You have to offer people something for sale. All right. And that's how you make your money. If you don't tell people what you have, if you don't offer anything, it's hard to make sales. Okay. All right. So next you've also got um, you know, templates are another option as well. Okay. So I sell a lot of templates from, you know, Canva, um, gosh, uh, just 
so many different things, right? I have calculators, I have planners, calendars. I listen. Okay, and let me make sure you guys can hear me okay. Can you hear me? Go ahead and drop a one in the comments because it looks like I feel like my microphone is trying to switch up on me. Let me just do a quick sound check here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think you guys can hear me. All right, good stuff. Okay, I got a little message making me think you guys can hear me. All right, so does this make sense? If this makes sense, go ahead and drop a one in the comments because I got to keep my people together because the next piece we're going to do is so important. So I got to make sure everybody's with me. Are you with me up here to the paid offers, right? This is what you're going to go ahead and offer people for sale, all right? You have to offer them something or they're not. Guys, listen, y'all have to ask for the sale. You have to tell people, remember, selling is what? Let me see who's paying attention here. Selling is what? Let me see. Let me see who's paying attention, okay? We're not selling. We are serving, okay? We are serving our audience. We are creating paid experiences for them to make their life easier, okay? It's not just like, oh, I'm just, you know, I, I don't deserve this money. You deserve it. You're serving your audience by giving them the things that they need and making it easier for them. You're packaging up your expertise into a digital product. And a lot of times when you package it up in a way that you can serve a lot of people, you're able to offer it at a more affordable price than you would one on one. Are you guys with me? All right. OK, so with that being said, OK, so now let's say your customer says, all right, I like it. I want to buy it. OK, so the things that kind of happen are that they get access, right? They have to get access to the content that they purchased. OK, super important. They got to get access. And then on top of that, you know, you may or may not send them some type of email, letting them know what they purchased, you know, if it's live, giving them details about it, how to log in, um, what day, if you're doing a live class, what day is the live class? You know, you might have some reminder emails to let them know because you want them to show up live if you're going to be live, um, different things like that, right? And then kind of after the purchase, here's just a few things that I put in here about, you know, your... Um, Customers may have questions about maybe the content, even after if you've given them access to a replay, they might be, um, you know, asking questions about what they're watching in the video or even the templates they're using or just people have questions and they probably want to type something there. So that's another thing that can happen. OK, so with that being said, um, and then also sometimes there's support issues. OK, I don't really get a lot of customer support, to be honest, like. I basically have two different things. I've had my online school since 2015. The biggest customer support, um, I'm not going to say their issues, the questions that I have, they're more around how do I log in? Okay. So it's two things, right? It's kind of the same thing, but basically sometimes people can't remember they got an, you know, an email, an automated email, right? Um, they got an email and they can't find the email with their login information or else sometimes I have people that have, for whatever reason, they have signed up to my school with two different email addresses and they log in with one and they don't see other products that they've purchased. So it's kind of login is kind of the, the thing. OK, so now that we've kind of am I missing anything that you guys can think of? I know I see a lot of you guys in here. You guys do um, online classes as well. So do you guys see anything missing? I wanted this to be kind of more interactive. So let me know. I know Liza, um, I bought a class from Liza as well. Let me give you guys just a second to kind of digest this list, okay? So if you're just joining, this list is kind of like, I'm saying an online business, but I'm really talking around digital products, okay? This is not like physical product shipping out. That's not my area of expertise, okay? My area of expertise is around digital products and how to get that going. I've had my online school, Social Barber Academy, since 2015. Yeah, I have like 100 digital products. Literally, 100. Okay? Yes, crazy. I've uh, started to archive and retire a few of those, but yes, that's what I have, all right? So let's go through here and let's start talking about can we automate these things? Because what do we want here? What do we want in our business? What is the, the re for me, I guess I'm talking about myself here, y'all. My main reason for doing this is freedom. So if I can automate something, it can happen without me. 
right? It can happen without anybody. So it's not, you know what? I have another bullet for you, okay? Freedom, guess what? Guess what the other reason why we want to automate? Cost, okay? If you can automate something, all right? If you can automate something, you set up the automation, it happens on autopilot, it's cheaper than hiring somebody to do it. Okay, it's cheap. I don't care where the person is. <laughs> when you, I don't care what country they're in. If you can automate something, it's cheaper than hiring a person to do it. Okay, so that's another one, right? Another reason, okay, is reliability. Okay, so you guys know I used to work at a Fortune 50 company in um, corporate America, right, in technology. And one of the things that I used to have to do is I used to have to set up systems and automations, okay? Now, sometimes maybe, let's say, for instance, it was something, you know, that had a job I had to set up to run when the back, when the database got backed up or something, right? This was a huge corporation with millions and millions and millions of customers making billions of dollars a year. And there's no way they would be like, hey, Susan, um, can you make sure you wake up at 5 a.m. on Sunday mornings and push this button right here so that we can make sure that the database gets backed up and that all of our millions of customers all over the world are able to see their balance information. And guys, they're not going to do that. OK. And so us as the CEOs of our own business, we don't want that either. OK. So listen, and I know computers make mistakes, but. You know what I'm saying? The the theory is, right, that these things are more reliable, okay? So we want to set these things up because, you know, we're human, right? And things can happen with us. We can oversleep. Um, you know, we can get distracted. We can have emergencies come up. Computers don't have emergencies. They don't oversleep. They don't have, you know, unless you have a power outage, there's a lot of things that, you know what I'm saying, kind of happen on autopilot without you, okay? And that's the goal, right? Freedom. Let me say it again. Freedom, 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 okay? All right, now we're back to this list. So this is kind of a, a really high level um, um, system and a process for how you running and selling your, your online digital products works, okay? So let's start talking about things that can be automated, okay? So there's kind of a little distinction here and we'll talk about it here, okay? So under social media, okay? So we've got posts, okay? So when I think about posts, I'm thinking about videos, pictures, things like that, okay? now. They can't, they can't be necessarily automated per se, but they can be scheduled, right? Okay, you can schedule your, your posts in advance. That can buy you more time and freedom, correct? Okay, those types of things, okay? Y'all, did you guys know that you can schedule some live broadcasts on some platforms? Did you guys know that? I don't know if you guys knew that. OK, so they're not quite automated, but you can create some freedom around scheduling things in advance. OK, I had a program, a marketing program called F Social because I wanted people to forget about social media, not get so caught up in it. And in that program, I helped people create and schedule their social media for the year. Just schedule it and forget it. Right. Um, short form video. Now that one so far you can plan ahead. But, you know, that one, a lot of people are not scheduling those things yet i haven't really seen a reliable tool you got to be careful sometimes make sure that it's a tool that is sanctioned by instagram or facebook or else they can punish you with your engagement okay so i don't really have we're gonna say no on this one okay as of right now we're gonna say no there's no scheduling oh i'm sorry on this one right here right we can't automate it um this one, the long form video. So these are longer videos, IGTV, YouTube, things like that, right? How to videos, maybe um, mindset shifts, you know, just different things that would be content that would be valuable to your audience. These can be scheduled. I don't know if you guys knew that. You can even schedule your YouTube videos. Did you guys know that? Okay. And the, the main goal around this, right, is freedom. And guess what? It's freedom and, and flexibility, right? Okay, if I know I'm gonna be out of town, I wanna be consistent with my beauty to bank, I can schedule my videos in advance so that I can, I can still be there. But I am live right now, okay? I am actually live right now. But that's something that you can do, okay? DMs can be automated. Did, did you guys hear me? Direct messages can be automated on Facebook and Instagram. Did you guys know that? 
Let me know in the chat if you knew that. All right. Let me know, okay? Guys, you can automate a conversation, all right? You guys can automate a conversation because what you do is you kind of decide what are the types of questions that people always ask me and you can give the information you set up. It's called a bot, right? There's a couple different ways to do it, okay? But a bot is one of them, all right? Next, paid ads, okay? So with paid ads, Paid ads have to be, um, you know, it's kind of a mix. You kind of have to have somebody who's managing your ads up front to optimize them. And once they're going, they can kind of be just, those can be on autopilot, you know, but they do need to be monitored to make sure, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that they are still working properly. They need to be monitored or else you could literally be throwing money in the toilet, okay? And that is a big, that's a deep pocket game. It can be, okay? All right, so we're good so far. We've got a couple things. Um, y'all, my mouse is jumping around. So far, we've got some things we can automate. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight those in green because green feels good to me. Um, we've got some things we can schedule. So that's gonna help us create some freedom, right? Um, we've got a lot of things that we can schedule here and that that's going to really help us to create freedom. And so far at the, at the point of this video, I, you know, there's probably some type of third party, um, you know, thing that can, that can work, but, but I hesitate to, to do some of these third party things. Um, I have learned the hard way you guys, sometimes when you're doing things with these third party systems you can get yourself into trouble, okay? Because they can tell that you're connecting through these third-party systems, okay? So this is where we are so far with automation, okay? How are we automating our business to create more freedom, okay? Freedom, cost, right? Reliability, all that kind of stuff without us. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's without us, okay? Now let's talk about email marketing, okay? So in our email marketing, um, giving engagement information, now you can schedule emails to go out, okay? So you can schedule emails. Did you guys know that you can schedule emails? Okay. Yes, you can schedule your emails in advance, okay? And even if you plan a particular sale or something like that, you can schedule, right? What day that, the, that all of your emails should be going out, your last chance emails, you know, presenting the you know the pain points that your solution is going to is going to help people with all that kind of stuff can be scheduled in advance it can be planned a month many months in advance and just scheduled okay so that's something that can be scheduled your freebie right so remember i showed you my freebie so i've got it set up if you go to my instagram if you sign up right there on the link right and i share the link right in here right um let me see if i can i will pull that up for y'all um, but basically when people sign up for my freebie, they can automatically get access, okay, to the freebie. It will automatically be delivered to them. Okay. And I put the, I dropped the link in the chat there. Okay. And let's see here, free. Okay. So when people sign up, put their first name and their email and they will get it for free. It will automatically be delivered to them. Okay. So, so far, we've got the freebie can be automated, okay? That one is something that's automated. You set it up one time and you don't have to do anything with it again. It, it happens on its own, okay? So that's good. The next thing, the email sequence, that is something that can be automated. So basically when people sign up for my freebie, they will be um, um, subscribed to my email sequence talking about digital products, okay? All right, so that can be automated as well. So we have a lot of good stuff under email, okay? So almost all this stuff under email, right, can be automated or scheduled. So that's that's kind of green. If you want to kind of send a one-off email, um, you can't just automate a one-off email, but you can schedule them in advance. So it's really important that you can go ahead and be very, um, you know, if you plan ahead, it will create some some freedom for you as well, okay? Especially if you're kind of, you're rinsing and repeating the same process every month. That's what I really teach my students in my six-figure business systems group coaching program. I teach them all the time, like, guys, listen, this is your schedule for the month. It's rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. That same schedule was what got me to six figures 
um, with my digital products alone, $27 and $39 classes, okay? So let's talk about text marketing, all right? So text marketing, you know, you can, um, depending on what system you use, there can be automated, um, you know, let's say people can subscribe to, you know what I'm saying, to get freebies. Sometimes people do that. Um, you know, you can, um, if you have blasts, right, like text blasts, right? those can be scheduled okay so these can be scheduled and the freebies also if you're offering that that can be automated as well okay all right so this is good so far we're talking about all the techie techie stuff and i want people to know what's on the menu for your online business and for creating digital products right we want freedom right that's what we want Okay, and we want it now, <laughs> all right? I do all the time, right? It's very important to me. It's easy to, you know, everybody can take a job and make more money, but the goal is to make the money without us, right? Okay, so webinar, you can do live or pre-recorded, okay? So live, we cannot schedule a live webinar, okay? Like we have to be there in that moment when the webinar is, so that cannot be scheduled, okay? Pre-recorded. You can automate that thing, okay? You can automate a pre-recorded webinar. You pre-record the webinar and you can set it up and invite people to watch that, all right? So, so far on the webinar, the live webinar, we got a no, okay? And you can, on the pre-recorded, we have got that we can do that. And actually, let me take one step back here on the social media. Um, it depends on the platform, whether or not you can schedule your live, okay? Some um, some platforms, Instagram does not like, guys, I scheduled a live broadcast on Instagram one time. Instagram did not like that, okay? But I did do it. I was live on Instagram and I wasn't there. <laughs> I had pre-recorded the video, all right? Okay, so let's talk about the paid offer, okay? So when you teach a live class, that can't be automated, right? You gotta be there, it's live, okay? sending out a replay bundle that can be scheduled. Okay. So let's say you have classes that you've already taught. You've got an ebook. Let's say you want to run a sale. Okay. You can schedule that stuff and send out that paid offer through your email. You can have it in your link tree. You can, you know what I'm saying? You can have those things going. If you want to do paid ads, all that kind of stuff can, can happen. Okay. You just have to do it in advance. And then the, and then if you have a paid same thing, you can schedule any kind of your, your paid offers, right? Anything, whether it's a replay, a template or anything, those things can be scheduled in advance, okay? So there is work, it's just that you get to decide when the work happens, okay? So the reason I'm bringing this up is that imagine if you're like, you can kind of schedule if you wanted all of your sales and promos, whether you want them to be live, whether you want them to be pre-recorded, whether they're templates, whether they're eBooks, whatever it is, you can plan in uh, for the whole year what your sales are going to be, and you can schedule your emails, your text reminders, and everything to go out in advance, okay? You can, in theory, you can, okay? And then your customer purchase, now granting them access. So let's say when somebody pays, you want them to automatically be able to watch the material without you, okay? Without you having to do anything. You don't need to go push a button. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to communicate with them. They can go ahead and purchase and you don't even have to know that they purchased. Y'all listen, this right here, okay? This right here is automated, okay? And this is one of the things, you guys, this is a game changer, guys. Listen, that first time that you make that money, you wake up in the morning and you made money from somebody you don't even know who they were and they purchased your, your item. It's a game changer. That's when it really clicks for people. They're like, hold up. So this person, I gave them my information. I don't know who they are. They were able to get value from me without me having to, to physically be there or even, even look at them, talk to them, communicate with them. Okay, guys, this is a game changer. And this is this part right here. I don't want to skip past this because a lot of people try to do things in a cheaper way. Okay, cheaper way. And when I say cheaper, sometimes people don't want to pay for the best tools because they're like, oh, isn't that $250? Isn't that this? Isn't it that? And the thing is, is that what happens is that 
people are doing things in a manual way and they're 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 taking for granted how much time it took them they're not counting the hours of work that they're doing and now all of a sudden they're supposed to have this freedom based business now they're again trading their time for money they're trading their time for money again okay we don't want to do that we don't want to trade our time for money we want to go ahead and we want to make sure right that people have the information right and they're able to receive the product without us that's a game changer even at the 150 dollars a month y'all this is an employee working for you 150 dollars okay in a whole month okay and i'm talking about that's what i pay for for um kajabi okay and so this allows me the freedom okay this allows me the freedom so that i can um go ahead and 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 live a more freedom-based lifestyle okay so guys one thing i want to i want to pull up this little calculator right here y'all because we need to talk about these numbers okay so if you had right let's say you have uh we had 31 days this month right and let's say we have 31 days times 24 hours okay 744 Let's say you have the Kajabi membership. You have so there's 70, 744 hours in January there were, and you divide it by 150 bucks, y'all. Okay. Listen, and I actually did it the wrong way. Hold on, <laughs> I did the wrong way. You you guys hold on. Other way, denominators matter. All right. So how much are you paying this Kajabi as your employee, right? So if you paid a hundred and let's see, go back 24 times 31, we got 744 hours, right? Okay. We paid 150 bucks as the lowest plan divided by 744 hours. Okay. You're paying like 20 cents an hour. Nobody's going to work for that. And that's what you're doing. That's what you're paying for. You're paying and it has all of the email marketing and all this other stuff that we've been um, talking about down here. It has all of those those same things, okay? All of the things that we've been talking about automating. It has the email marketing. It doesn't doesn't have text marketing yet, but you know, creating, um, you know, hosting these things and being able to give people the paid offer, okay? Um, on autopilot, it has that. It's got the email sequences. It's got, um, um, you know, it's you know can automatically automatically grant access the freebies, all that kind of stuff, okay? So think about that. It's literally like an assistant for 20 cents an hour. I, I don't care what country you're in. I don't know anybody working that cheap. Okay. All right. Literally. Okay. So it kind of makes sense. All right. All right. So we can automate this. Let's talk about questions from customers. Okay. So let's talk about this. Okay. So let's say somebody purchases your class. Um, you know, they love it, but let's say they have a question about something. And so they go ahead and they make a little comment in the little chat box. Okay. Yes. And so basically what ends up happening here, right, is that you're going to need to monitor those questions, right? But there's some things that you can do. Okay. You can set up some systems in place that will, um, you can set up some systems in place that will help you. Okay help you with this. All right. So there's, you know, you can actually go and monitor. I don't get a ton of questions. A lot of them are comments like, yes, I love this, but not a whole bunch of questions where people are confused. Right. Um, but if people are confused or they, sometimes people ask a question before they listen to the whole video and they're like, oh, never mind, You answered the question in the video. Um, but you do want to make sure you monitor those questions. So you can either do now. These aren't automated. Now, I have my team to looking at, you know, looking at those questions, monitoring those questions and things like that. So that's something that can be outsourced. And that's where you kind of can start getting, you know, people in the, um, you know, in other countries that will do it for much cheaper. You can actually, um, you know, $3 an hour. Um, and also this is where it comes really important that you document, right? document answers so that you don't have to do it. So we're going to say a no on automation, but it can be delegated. Okay. So let's say that. So we'll say, we'll change this one and we'll say it cannot be automated, but it can be delegated. All right. So somebody else can do it. It does not have to be you, right? Freedom-based business. Okay. 
Now, support issues, okay? So I've done a couple things under the support issues, okay? So like I said, the majority of the support issues that I've gotten since 2015 have been about login issues, okay? So one of the things that I've done for that, it is automated and it, I mean, guys, I don't even get that many questions to be honest on this, okay? One of the things that I do is I set up my emails, any kind of um, business emails that I have, I set them up on autopilot, okay? So I set them up on vacation, okay? So let me show you what this looks like, okay? So I'm gonna log into my email. I hope there's nothing crazy in here, you guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into my personal one here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send an email to my business address, okay? I'll show you guys how this works. So season at the socialbarber.com. There we go. And I'm just gonna say test. And we're gonna say, so it's vacation settings, okay? All right, so I'm just, and this is nothing. This is just a test email. So we're gonna hit the send button and this should happen pretty quickly, okay? So basically what I've done is you can actually set your email. My professional email is through Gmail, okay? It looks a little different, but even though it's season at the social barber, not at gmail.com, it, um, it is through Gmail, through the, through the Google suite, okay? So check this out. This is the way that I have automated. So my customer support, and I don't know, this might be a little small for you guys. Let me see if I can increase the size so you guys can see a little bit here, okay? So basically I kind of give people an expectation. I say, hey there, we answer emails once daily, but here are some things that might help. Can't log in to access the purchase. And then I say here, you should have gotten an email from the Social Barber Academy with your login and password. If you can't find the email, go here and click forgot password, right? So now guys, guess what? That handles about 95, 97% of the questions that I have from people, the answers like literally, that's like the majority of the questions that I get. How do I log in to access my purchase? And then if there's something else, sometimes people might have another situation. I literally have not had that many. People can go fill out this form here, right? Um, people can go fill out this form. And in this form, my team has access and they can monitor other questions that come up. And then even with this, this number right here is that you can text me here. This is a, a box, it's a community text box. Um, it's called community, right? And this is something monitored by my team, not just me. And so then that way, guess what? What am I getting to? I'm getting to as much automation as possible and freedom, all right? I am gonna take a breath. I'm gonna pause here because I have talked about a whole bunch here, okay? A whole bunch of good stuff here. And so I just wanna see what kind of questions we have, okay? Everything that I'm doing, that's why I'm doing it. I am, I'm doing it so that we can create freedom, right? We can create freedom in our business, freedom in our lifestyle, freedom in everything that we're doing, right? Because, you know, we, life is more than just working all the time. And I have, y'all listen, your girl has worked. I've done everything. I probably can tell you a story for, for everything that I have done. Um, all the different types of jobs that I've had, I've never been afraid to work, but it's like, sometimes you have to take a step back and say, Hey, you know what? It's time to live now. It's time to kind of look at some other things, look at some other options and figure out how can we live more, right? We don't want to give up. We don't want to give up our, our lifestyle completely here. Right. But how do we make money more on autopilot and, and create those types of things? Okay. Create freedom for our life, ourself, our family right? We want to be more available for them. Okay. And so that's the reason that is my why that's why I do what I do. Okay. Now I hope that these, these things helped you. Okay. What I really want to do is I want to find out from you. What's, what are some of the things that you are looking for in your life to, you know, to automate, to streamline, to set up processes and procedures. Um, I feel like for a lot of people, you know, marketing, right, across the board, people are confused. They're kind of like, I don't even know what to do. I'm overwhelmed. Should I do a reel? Should I do a live? Should I do this? Should I do that? But I want to know from you guys, what is it that you're struggling with? What are you looking to automate? What are what kind of processes and procedures can you put in to document and let somebody else do it for you, right? Are we automating or delegating? Right? That's the question, right? 
All right, guys, think about that question. I want you to go ahead and um, and I want to invite you to to join me right in my six figure business systems group coaching program. Um, I'm going to have a um, you know, I'm going to send you a link here where you can register so that you can find out more about the program and if it's a good fit for you. And if so, I would love to hear from you and just to see, you know, if I think that this program is going to work for you and 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 really, you know, talk about what's your game plan. What are the things that you can share? What are the different types of digital products that you can create? OK. All right, guys. Well, this has been Beauty to Bank. This is the number one place on the Web where beauty professionals learn how to make money without standing behind the chair. OK, I am your host, Susan Bennett. I am here every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.